So the, the, the concept for the Belt and Road Initiative um, originated around like 2013. Um, that's when you know, Xi Jinping started talking about it. And by, I think, 2016, 2017, you know, they like built out their um, 12,000 mile like um, uh, rail freight line from uh, eastern China all the way to Madrid. Cool. Um, maybe parts of it were, were already there, but like, you know, did that, uh, yeah, like crazy stuff like that. Um, what's, what's most concerning, though, to, to the U.S., is the layering of additional kind of infrastructure on top of this, uh, you know, physical infrastructure. So at the same time, you know, China has been uh, expanding their 5G networks and just overall like telecommunications infrastructure, cloud computing. Yeah, They've which... run fiber all across like the eastern coast of Africa over to Europe. I mean, that actually um, sounds kind of sweet, but I, I could see how that might be terrifying given some of China's censorship practices. Mm -hmm, exactly. You know, yeah. um, it, how actually, much of the when I was in high want... school, I, I ran a proxy for a buddy in Beijing so that you could get around the Great Firewall of China. <laughs> so, right? Yeah. That, um, and, and yeah, how, how I don't like you... censorship at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. You know, how, how much of uh, the world, you know, would you like to be operating under Chinese Internet? Um, yeah. uh, and, you know, even, even on top of that, you know, when you talk about any kinds of smart, you know, technology, um, <laughs> smart phones, smart homes, smart cars, smart. Oh, like, that stuff scares you know, the crap whatever, out of me. Uh, which I, is, I, I you had know, Google assistants in every room of my apartment for a while, and I had to get rid of those things because they were far too creepy. Yeah, and you know, um, it's it, it's one of those curious parallels where uh, you know you yeah you've got all of this. So I'm on like, Duck Duck Go. I have an iPhone now. <laughs> like I kind of <laughs> went the other direction with it. These these highly intrusive data mining like practices by all these American companies, um, sure. and then when you see Chinese companies, you know, do essentially the same thing. Um, uh, uh, the U.S. gets like really up in arms, kind of like pointing fingers, you know, about things. Yeah. And by the way, um, you know, I, I just want to be clear, like I um, I am also terrified of China. <laughs> I'm not an apologist for, for any of their actions by, by any means.